Uh, Alex Jones is quite the meme at this point, isn't he? Is it? And, and Prince Morgan says, "Is Alex thirsty for female frogs?" Not, I don't have to thirst for female frogs. We'll turn all the frogs gay. The frogs will thirst for me. No, but in reality, in reality, okay, we are. We, I know Alex Jones is mean. I know he is. But the dude just chugged a bunch of horsey wormer on stream. So we got to talk about that because. For some reason, this is the hill that conservatives are dying on, dying on right now. They are they are just guzzling, bukkake style horse dewormer, and I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. And now for something else, I don't quite understand. Let's move into the fan art section before we talk about Alex. Why do you guys send so much fan art? I mean, I am eternally thankful for it, but also sometimes we get. Green-haired, supersonic-style Cirrus from Sea and Chaos. You mean, the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> because if that's what you're worried about, I have them right here. Chaos Control. <laughs> that's what that is. Okay. And then the next one we have is from uh, Galaxian Art. And, oh no, this one is not from Galaxian Art. This one is from uh, Fabulous, Fabulous Gabalus. The next one is from... Galaxian art in the next episode. This one, this looks amazing. This looks super good. This is the Beach Cirrus model. Y'all really liked that model a lot. Jesus, there's so much good artwork of that particular model. Uh, but no, uh, this not much context was given on the actual Discord for this one. But this looks really, really good. I, I really like this one. I do. <laughs> With all that said... Thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be featured on an episode, the best way to do so is to drop it in the Discord section. With all that said, let's go ahead and talk about Alex. Alex Jones. He's here to dunk on the left, ladies and gentlemen. Prince Morgan, thank you very much for redeeming your points. Oh, well. Oh, well. They said the oh, well was for the last fan art. It is a lovely fan art. It is. All right, Alex. Make me hate breathing the same air you breathe. Oh, what's what's all this? What's going on here? Here. Let's just open it up for you. Didn't get this at a tractor supply. Because I've been like Santa Claus taking care of everybody. Hours a day for months. Taking care of people. Overhead shot, please. You know what this is? This is ivermectin for humans that won a Nobel Prize as an antiviral. Nope. No, 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 no. It did not win the Nobel Prize as an antiviral. He's already got that part wrong. So, what does ivermectin do? Yes, it is a horse dewormer because it is not an antiviral. It is an anti-parasitical. What it got the Nobel Prize for, and it got it in 2015, the Nobel Prize was gotten by ivermectin for its usage as an anti-parasitical agent. COVID is not a or COVID is not a parasite. COVID is a virus. An antiparasitical does not help you as an individual when you're dealing with a virus, much like how an antibiotic does not help you when you are dealing with you know, a migraine. This is not what it's for. It's not what it's for. So it's an arthropod neurotoxin. Yeah, fair. Um, so what point is he trying to prove here? He, he says he didn't get it from a tractor supply. He's trying to argue that, oh, no. This is totally not a horse dewormer. It, it, it is, though. It is. A, a, a horse dewormer that is set up in such a way that you can take it with smaller dosages as a human. The version that people are buying, by and large, is still a horse dewormer. Three milligram. Uh, thought, the hu thought the doses were in micrograms? Uh, no, usually we do stuff in milligrams. Usually. So do you feel like intentionally lying about medical information should get people arrested? Well, remember, here in the United States, we actually protect even hate speech. So, I don't know how, I don't know how we would handle this particular bit. Uh, but, yeah, no. Let, let's continue. And this is inhalable, or these are the tablet steroids. So let me show you. I was going to do this anyways earlier. See this? See this, Fauci? You see this, Bill Gates? I'm going to kill those prions, you bastard murderers. You're going to hit me with a bioweapon, you monster. 
Dude's really hamming it up. Dude's really doing this this entire LARP. Dude's really doing this whole thing. Also, Eldritch Mom, thank you very much for hopping in, and I hope you have a wonderful time at work. If you guys have not gone over to Kuni's streams uh, or their YouTube channel, I uh, highly recommend it. Ah. It is always fun to watch them freak out while playing Sonic Adventure. <laughs> With that said, Alex, come on, buddy. Come on. Talk to me about these pills. LARP. LARP like Bill Gates even knows who you are. He probably does at this point, let's be fair. You want to suppress me? You want to kill me, you son of a bitch? You okay, I have a question. I have a question. If, if the government was trying to kill you, Alex, for the 15 years I've been watching you, they've been doing a pretty fucking awful job. Can we have some reasonable restrictions on the kind of speech that can be broadcast on the television as a treat? <laughs> well, he's not broadcasting on a television, to be fair, so... But, you know, I, I, I just have to point out, Alex, if, if somebody had been trying to kill me, and it had been 15 years of my life, and they had not yet killed me, I would say they had largely failed uh, to, to, to kill me. That's, that's what I would be saying. You goddamn demon! You think I'm easy to kill? I mean, yeah, a, a bullet would do it. I, I mean, like, a, a knife in the right place would do it, because you, like me, are human. If, if if somebody does an equation with me plus bullet, I die. I'm out. I'm gone. That is that is what bullet do. I am easy to kill. You are easy to kill. Humans are easy to kill. Which is why it is hilarious that you are thinking the government is trying to kill you. If the government wanted you dead, you would be dead by now, my guy. I think I'm gonna roll over to your crap? No. <laughs> he takes it straight with alcohol. Just. <laughs> That's right, globalists. I don't care what you think. I'm gonna drink my problems away. And I'm gonna overdose while doing it. <laughs> That's you, Alex. Also, you took only two pills. Like, dude. Dude. Oh my god. Ugh. Remember, remember, ivermectin is useful as an anti-parasitical. It is not going to do shit against COVID, as COVID is not a parasite. And Joe Rogan kicked your murdering ass too. You'd love to bury him too, you little monster maggot. Uh, why would they have to bury Joe Rogan? What has he done that literally anybody cares about as far as the government's concerned? What, what has he meddled in that matters? He's in this National Geographic piece about, oh, I don't usually deal with my enemies right away. I get them later. Yeah, you creep up on with a poison injection, dressed up in a lab coat, you little Joseph Mingala, Nuremberg coat violating monster. Jesus, he really is hamming it up. He is just guzzling all of this. You damn monster. See our little cancer proteins like that. Nobel Prize winning for humans. Nobel Prize winning for humans. Nobel Prize winning for humans. For Nobel Prize winning for humans for what though? For for what? What was it for? Because I'll I'll let you know what it was for. It was as an anti-parasitical. Jose thirteen Neo, thank you very or Jose thirteen Neo, whichever one. I do not know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for redeeming your points for an. Hada hada. You fucking monster. This video is so cringe and hard to watch again. No, he is he is literally like Saturday night Saturday morning cartoon villain. That's what he's doing at the moment. Nobel Prize winning for humans! Nobel Prize winning for humans! What, 2005? Nobel Prize winning for 2015. For humans. Oh Joe Rogan! Joe Rogan! He just went and drank the horse pace. He's stupid. I bet he got it from Alex Jones. They're both so dumb. They're both gonna be dead. Okay, so, you might not be dead, but you will be shitting bricks. Also, yeah, no, it is stupid. Like, what you're doing is stupid. What you're doing is stupid. But okay, continue. Yeah, that's why Joe's worth like $300 million. Yeah, he's real stupid. Okay, so, you can be an idiot and also be rich. Dude runs the biggest podcast in the world. He gets high-profile guests on. He's at the point where he can be continually stupid over and over again and he will still make shit tons of money your intellect does not necessarily correspond with your net worth 
That's why he lives in a $60 million house on the river. You left this taking all the shots and dying are the dumbasses. He's the one that headlines with Dave Chappelle, not you. You're stupid. Okay, so this idea that people who are not famous are therefore stupid, this is a really fucking dumb take. You can be incredibly intelligent and also not be famous. In fact, there are benefits to not being famous, like not having scrutiny into every little thing you do in your personal life. Um, also, again, dude has the biggest podcast of all time right now. Of course, he's going to headline people like Sh like Dave Chappelle. That's that's literally with his podcast being as large as it is, he's going to be well known. That that's just kind of understood. But again, that does not make him more or less intelligent than other people. It might make him more marketable. It might make him better at marketing, but it does not make him more intelligent. You see where we're going here. Yeah, this is toddler logic. It is hyper-capitalist toddler logic. More money, it, it makes it better. More money makes it way better. I am stronger and I am better because I have more dollar signs. It's silly. And I sure wish you'd wake up. But you sit there calling me stupid, an independent media person that built the biggest independent media operation in the world that changed the whole paradigm with my badass listeners? And you sit around and laugh at us? Medical doctors gave that to me. It is incredible. It helped my family. It helped me. It helped everybody. And it's approved for humans for all sorts of viral stuff. But that murderer... No, 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 no. It's approved for parasitical stuff, not viral stuff. Secondly, we laugh at you because what you do is outrageous and funny. Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Fauci doesn't want you to know because he wants the planet for himself and he wants you dead. Well, guess what, Fauci? We ain't rolling over and dying so easily, you little murdering man. I have a question. Is there actually a point where you can get... I, I, I guess not really. So, like, I want to say, is there a point where you can just hit Alex for defamation? But then I realized that the way the American system works, you cannot hit somebody for defamation unless there are uh, damages that are accrued. And I don't think that Fauci has suffered damages as a result of what Alex Jones has said. So, I mean, I guess he can't. Alex, we know what's in vaccines. We, we, we literally we literally can read what's in them. Apparently, Alex thinks that Anthony Fauci wants to rule the entire world. I have a question. How many times does Alex Jones have to be wrong about who is trying to take over the world that week before people realize that he's literally just yelling into his microphone so that people can engage in very comfortable confirmation bias? Said he could be sued for slander, though. Uh, I, again, I don't know. I think there have to be material damages there. But again, I'm I'm not a legal expert. I do not know. But yeah, no, this is this is Alex just being Alex, just yelling and screaming. And uh, I mean, I mean, I can do that too. I can yell and scream all I want. Does that make my Does that make what I say better? Does that make it more believable? Is that what it does to you, maggot? No, it probably doesn't. Like, re realistically, that probably hurts somebody's ears. Somebody probably really does not like me now, and they are commenting at this very moment that they did not appreciate me doing that. Fairly certain. Like, I'm almost a thousand percent certain. But, with that said, I want to know what you guys think. This is Alex going completely unhinged, which is, for us... That is unhinged. For him, that is a Tuesday. But I want to know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know down there. If you would like to support the channel and what I do, you guys are all amazing, and I would love any and all support you guys want to give. That would be great. It is in the description below. You can, you can do so if you want to. Uh, there's Patreon. There's a merch shop. Uh, there's direct stuff if that is your, more your thing. You do you. Uh, with all that said, though, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you haven't hit follow over on Twitch, please consider doing so. And as always, everyone, insert into video tagline here.
where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.